Hello viewers and friends, welcome to BST African Electronics on a Monday, 2 May 2023. Long time guys. Uh, yeah, that's the life. So let's fix something on a Monday. It's around half past eight in the evening on a Monday. Okay. So we do have WizTech. HD digital satellite receiver which was booked in as no power model 223 plus so this is some kind of satellite receiver we take and uh, the owner said is not turning on so we have to fix this but uh, let's plus the let's plug in the AC cable AC plugged because we have to see what this thing is doing. AC plugged. I can hear the switch clicking here, but there must be some writing or something else. And here we do have a switch here off, on. I can't see anything. No matter how I turn on the switch. So, we have to fix this, okay? Let me unplug here. Let's get inside. And see if this can be fixed, okay? Let's take out all the screws. Hopefully you are fine guys Hopefully you are okay I'm very fine Only I do have some other commitments So my time here at workplace Nowadays is limited But uh, I will try To do as many videos as I can whenever I get free time. If you have something that you wish to see on my videos, just leave a comment. And uh, definitely, I'll do something about your request in the future, okay? So that's the thing. That's the thing. So what can be fault here? I believe we have a power supply problem because if this thing is not turning on, my first suspect is the switching power supply. Classic, classic motherboard. Maybe I can zoom in again. Better now. So, what is here? What is inside? What is inside this, say, satellite receiver? We have the switching power supply here. We do have the digital board here. And underneath it, it seems there's a. We do have the processor. Here we have a big 8 leg chip, like a BIOS chip. Okay. You know what? Let's start by cleaning this. We need to blow up this thing is has got a lot of dust inside. One second. Now looks better.
so diet mode let's start checking some things what can we check we have the ac here live and neutral live and neutral and we don't have a short we do have the fuse here the fuse is good after the fuse we do have the rectifier bridge here the rectifier bridge is okay we do have some uh, diodes in parallel mode on the output this one okay the second one okay the third one okay okay what up on the secondary what i will check we we'll check on the vcc pin the last pin of the bios chip should not be grounded and pin number four is ground you can hear those are bios memory whatever you call them so everything looks okay here everything looks okay here the fuse is good the rectifier is good the dials dials on the output they are good let's check out the power supply i think that's a good thing let's check out the power supply was we have to find the problem we have to find the problem why so that is switching power supply on the output we have 25 volts 15 volts and 5 volts but uh, i believe the 5 volts is is, a, is always supposed to be on all the time the 5 volts power supply should be always on and then the 15 volts and 25 21 volts will turn on after you have pressed the switch button that's what i believe based on what i see but uh, there's something which i don't understand we do have this capacitor 10 volts 1000 micro maybe you can't see what how can i do it for you to see we have this capacitor this one is flat but this one has got a bump on top and i believe that the future capacitor for the five volts was is written 10 volts 1000 micro so let's take down this bulge capacitor was if everything is okay maybe we have a fault capacitor only our capacitor is out that the capacitor with a bump on top let me look for for another capacitor here oh what do we have here 470 25 volts that's not the one 1010 volts what a lucky to get a capacitor on the first board that's our capacitor same value 10 volts 1000 micro so you have to understand if you are replacing 
electrolyte capacitors. You have to understand the capacitance should be the same. Voltage can be equal to or can we can put even 25 volts, 15 volts. That's less important. But the capacitance is very important. So let's come with this capacitor. Here. That's interesting. Just to replace a capacitor. I never found an easy job like like replacing a capacitor. In most cases, it's very hard. In most cases, I'm getting challenging faults. So our capacitor is now in place and uh, all that is left is to test. That's all that is left. That's all what is left here. Is to test it to see if this thing is is working. If it's not working, we have to to look for other things. My screwdriver is not magnetic. That's the problem here. So let's see now. Let's plug the charge the AC cable. AC plugged. And it's working, you see? It's working, you see? Let me turn it off. On. Let's just wait. And it's working fine. I can't believe that was just a a capacitor. So if you have this kind of uh, digital receiver, cell light receiver, if you see a capacitor like a bulge capacitor, uh, probably that's the problem. Our cell light receiver is working fine. So. Yeah, that's, that was an easy one. That was an easy one. That was an easy one. So let's put all back together, all the screws.
Maybe when test with the with the HDMI, maybe. But uh, I believe everything is solved here. That is the easiest job that I ever get this year. And I'm happy. I wish I could get such kind of jobs on daily basis. Just replacing capacitors and the device is working. You take, you know, this is a clean money. You take your clean money, the customer will be happy and you will be 100% sure on such kind of jobs. There's no coming like a after service complaints from the customers. So I just finished putting all the screws. All what I need to do is to test with HDMI. Maybe you can see something. Let's do it with the HDMI. Let's plug in the HDMI here. That's good. Let's power on the receiver. On. Let's wait. Let's do it now. Let's power on our our decoder on. Let's wait. No signal. You see, we take. You see that we take no signal. A manual channel, and it's working fine. Obvious, there's no input from the LNB, LNB cable from the satellite dish, so we can't see anything there. But uh, our decoder is working fine. You see, so we can do one more time, one more time on, you see the waste take, it's working fine, so I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. See you on the next replay. Bye.